Hello, I'm Madison Kovar. I'm going into my senior year at Mount Marty University, majoring in pre-professional studies with a focus in pre-veterinary science. This summer, I'm working with Dr. Chun Wu at Mount Marty, setting our inhibitor AK07-2019 as a molecular inhibitor of MRSA acetate kinase, which has exhibited cellular level efficacy against Staphylococcus aureus. Here is a little background information and introduction to our research. Methicillin, or multidrug resistant Staphylococcus aureus, or MRSA for short, are strands of Staphylococcus aureus that are resistant to one or more antibiotics. A recent increase of these infections is calling for a new class of antibiotics. There are four currently existing classes that are subject to antibiotic resistance. Our lab is exploring a new site, the cell central metabolism, which affects the cell's ability to make energy. Our previous research has identified MRSA acetate kinase, or ACK, as a potential drug target for central metabolism antibiotics. ACK was then cloned, expressed, purified, and characterized in our lab and sent for high throughput inhibitor screening. Here is a graph representing MRSA ACK's metabolic role as an enzyme that catalyzes the conversion of acetate to acetyl-CoA, which goes into the Krebs cycle to make ATP. The purpose of our research is to investigate the molecular and cellular efficacy of AK07-2019. To do this, we use kinetic assay to test at the molecular level and the Kirby-Bauer disc diffusion susceptibility test at the cellular level. So moving on to the results section, at the molecular level, here you can see a graph of the kinetic assay coupling system we use for our kinetic assay test. The original ACK catalyst reaction cannot be observed, and that is why it is coupled with two other reactions, where pyruvate kinase and lactase respectively catalyze the reaction. It is a pseudo first order reaction, which means the concentration of ATP determines the reaction rate since the other reactants are saturated. The reaction rate is observed by the conversion of NADH, which has absorbance at 340 nanometer, to NAD+, which does not have absorbance at 340 nanometer. Here is a graph of a nonlinear regression of competitive inhibition of ACK by AK07-2019. On the graph, you can see three different symbols. These symbols represent different concentrations of AK07-2019. The circle represents there being no AK07-2019 present. The square represents a 0.163 millimolar concentration, and the diamond represents a 0.327 millimolar concentration. This graph confirmed AK07-2019 as a molecular inhibitor with a Ki value of 448 macromolar. Using PRISM GraphPad, we were able to form this graph and collect the Ki value. Next, at the cellular level analysis, we can see the three Kirby-Bauer disk diffusion susceptibility tests ran in a table with a summary of the results of these tests. From this table, you can see that AK07-2019 showed selective inhibition of Staphylococcus aureus, Staphylococcus epidermidis, and Bacillus cereus while not inhibiting the other gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria tested. This proves AK07-2019's potential of becoming a narrow-spectrum antibiotic. In short, AK07-2019 inhibits MRSA acetate kinase at the molecular level with Ki value of 448 micromolars and inhibits the growth of Staphylococcus aureus at the cellular level. In conclusion, AK07-2019 demonstrates micromolar level inhibition and exhibits selective efficacy at the cellular level as a molecular inhibitor for a newly identified drug target. These findings establish a basis for future investigations to develop secondary inhibitors of MRSA ACK with enhanced inhibitory activity and cellular efficacy presenting promising opportunities for effectively combating MRSA infections altogether. This presentation was made possible by NIH grant number 2P20RR 
0166479 from the NB program of the National Center for Research Resources. And here are my references. Thank you.